see like disadvantage, we're really gonna see like who has the better ledge pressure in this match. And who's better at adapting to it. Exactly. Go. Already, already zone, opening up a little bit of zoning here and there. Yeah, already Jewel doesn't want Zelda uh, to have her Phantom ready. Good zoning um, with uh, Arc Thunder. Yeah. Oh, there's the back air. Misses but great, the sweet spot. No, that's good DI from Jewel. You can avoid the sweet spot if your DI is correct. Look at this varied uh, ledge pressure from Jewel, not just throwing arc fires out. Okay. Oh, um, yeah. That I know it's old news by now, but the fact that she can um, jump and not free fall from her uh, uh, a side B, yes, side B, it's like Din, a huge Din's deal. fire being a functional move that can yeah. be used to. There's the forward air. Yep. Yeah. All right. Oh, great tracking low with the Din's recovery fire. though. Best for uh, Jewel understanding how Din's fire works and the bell curve it travels with. So yeah, there's Jewel doing something he likes, uh, Zero doing something he likes to do, using uh, Nehru to uh, cover ledges. Yeah. It does come out on frame one, I've heard. It's four. Four? Yeah. Frame four. All right. Great, com great get up timing from Jewel. It's definitely the sort of thing that you develop when you know how to get, when you're trying to keep people off ledges, you learn to get up from them. So Jewel definitely using his character's strengths and the strengths he's gotten from playing the character. Great pressure with the book to get that grab. All right. Here we see the ledge pressure. Uh, making recapture neutral, putting him off stage. How is he gonna use the Phantom? And great stalled recovery there. Yeah, yeah. But that back throw's gonna take it. Uh, but Levin Sword is on deck, because when you take come out from your second stock, you get it right away. Uh, and yeah. Eleven Sword Aerial with the right stage positioning will take care of it. Yeah. Great cognizance of the range. Oh, is that a taunt uh, that um, Phantom has? Oh, there's the back air. There's the back air. The right pressure. Yo, there's the taunt. Yeah. What I think he might be doing, actually, is he he's either styling for the crowd or trying to get in his head. Of course. I mean, that's one of the two things you do with taunts. Yeah. Oh, the juggling with the Levin Sword. It's still going on. He's trying to keep it in his hand. Yeah. He's trying to keep it in his hand while doing Elliot. Obviously, this is like oh, Mega Man. Oh, there's the other time. Okay. There's Mega Man Metal Blade okay. stuff going on. What I think he's trying to do is he's trying to get in his head and make him make more or less oh. unsafe options just like that. And putting him in the pressure situation there. Jules there. mix ups there. Instead of just going for the easy forward air or whatever, got a way better stage control by uh, waiting for Zelda to drop, jump out of the arc fire and up airing. Yeah, and after a combo like that, it's like. It's like you gotta think about the Ooh, mental the pressure timing. that. Oh, that was very nice conversion there. Yeah, um, I think Sword. No, Book fell out of hand, hit Zelda, made it safe when Zelda rolled past. It's, yeah. There's Phantom putting him down there. The power of her stand. Uh, mm, Tao Tao Heights. That's a song. Okay. And the Art Fire Jab Kill. Yeah, is that arc fire? Yeah, that's arc. That's uh, yeah. Jab, jab with fire is uh, arc fire. He uses arc fire durability and everything. Oh really? Yeah, you can't do it if you can't do that if you don't have fire book, and you can't do the rapid jab if you don't have uh, L wind. Ooh, Zelda going for the meteor heal, which is the official name of her down air. Okay, great pressure there. No checkmate. Oh, grabbing the book, throwing it through the phantom. Okay, okay. charging us some arc thunder. Oh, the fear that Vesper, that Jules putting into Zelda right now. Oh, missed the arc fire there. Let's see what we can do with this punish. There's the phantom on deck. Gets out of it. Ooh, the B reverse. Not spacing, just not right. Oh, nice use of the thunder to cancel the summoning of the stand. Oh, there's the forward air going to take it out. Oh, but not, not gonna quite. kill! I, let's see how the ledge trap happens. Happens, goes for the forward smash, not quite. Which lingers for a long time. Sour. Ooh, sour hit. Great, great timing. There. And great juggle there, because he now has the 11 sword, even with the recover. Nobody nope, lost used it. it. Oh, the Arc Thunders the zoning slight, out the like slight zoning. Falco yeah. lasers looking more like. Book throw. He might have been just trying to waste it out just to get the book. Exactly. He's trying to get the book and see if he can get a conversion. Oh, oh but re grab the book off the reflection. Yeah. And Jewel's now he's back. Presence of, 
Oh, there's the forward smash going to take him out. Jewel's presence of mind with those the item plays were incredible. But uh, Zelda F smash. Jewel tried to cross up with a back air and it just didn't connect. Watch here. Yeah, yeah. Zelda ducked under the back air with her F smash animation. Yeah, that was very nice. All right, we're heading into game two. Interesting strikes from Jewel of Battlefield and FD. Uh, so we're going to see. Stop the battle. I'm sorry, I missed what stage it actually picked. I was looking at the strike. Where are we going? Uh, I, I, I didn't quite catch it either. Well, let's find out. All right. That was an intense game. PS2. Okay, PS2. Now, this stage is the largest stage in the game in terms of sit time. Whenever I say that, people get confused. It's not about the blast zones, it's about the actual physical size of the stage. Yeah, the blast zones are actually fairly close to the edges. Here. Yes, but in terms of raw stage space, that's big, making this very good for zone making this very good for zoners, which both of these characters are. The question is who's the who wants it more? This is Jules Counterpick, so. And he's making great use of it right now. How has it been touched? He's already at 70%. Ooh, that F smash. Maybe a down smash to cover, like, both sides. Hunter. Doing a really good job keeping him out. Hunter. The patience from Jewel Hunter. not grabbing the sword as it landed back at his feet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> overhead. The yeah, Jewel is he's not in not. the mood to lose. Yeah, he's still not touched yet. Goes Ooh, to the trump, trump, not quite, and then first bit percent on there. There's the forward smash, taking first stock with only 15% on his Oh, fresh he stock. is dash dancing, he's smoothing. Yeah, maybe getting his head a little bit. He's like, yo, you can't just do that to me. Ooh, these shield mix-ups. And then the hit being kind of minus. Definitely not giving Zelda any actual stage control. Okay, but just, just run into the smash. smash. It's a good move that lasts a long time. Yeah. Okay, kind of just lays there for a little bit. And just being an option. Oh, that spot dodge, the wait! Waiting on Zelda's spot dodge to get to grab. He's in, uh... He's um, in my head! He's in his head. He's living rent-free in Zelda's head. I mean, I'm not a fan of landlords, but if someone's renting, living rent-free in my head like that, I'd okay, be tilted. Okay, there's the jab. There's a jab lingering right out there. Oh. The catches him with the art. Of that the, the forward air off stage. I'm not sure what the motivation there was. Maybe a buffered input? Perhaps. Oh, oh yeah! And there's the shield poke down The smash. shield poke on the down smash is so nice. It's such a cool utility on a character about pressure. It makes so much sense, but it's also just so rude. Okay, going for a couple nares just gets a solid percent in there. Okay, I wonder. goes for the unsafe Din's fire. No, I mean, there is love. Pharaoh's win. That's the one. I haven't played Zelda in a long time. Anyways. Uh, the game or right the character? The uh, the game. There you see the downside of how Zelda leans in, uh, in that she moved too far forward for that. Oh, the, the great tag. There. Air misses the timing on it slightly. There's the teleport. Sour Not hit. quite gonna do it. He can't get him the second time. Oh, no. He's back. Misses the down air sweet spot. That would have just murdered him. He went... I, he was he was trying for the other up air. There's the forward smash, taking it to game two. All right, taking I'm really interested two, in what stages Jewel doesn't three. want and what stages uh, Zero to None does want going here. Because it seems as though... So, here's my theory. If I were a betting man, if All I right. were... What... Um, what Zero wants is Battlefield because that lets that's a smaller stage and that lets um, Phantom pressure more effectively. Yeah, but on the other hand, I would also think something like Kalos is there as a good fallback. Are we option. going to Lilat? Yes, that's sturdy. That's what I call brinksmanship. He's Jewel, going for the Jewel, gimps. Um, yeah, Zero Denon is confident enough in picking Lilat. Lilat's a smart choice because. Phantom basically covers up all the space the between the he platforms. He even picked his song. Oh, well, of course. How can you not? This is the best song in the game. Yeah, there's a lot of good songs in this This is game. like the best song uh, on the legal stages. Cass maybe on the legal stages, yes. Three, two, well, I like KK Rider. Okay. Thunder and the jab. 
All right, so what uh, we're going to see here is a lot of um, Phantom covering the entire vertical space between the main Nosferatu stage and the platform. There. there was a weird Nosferatu there. That's the first Nosferatu we've seen all set. Yeah. It's not a very popular move, but maybe he's, like, farming for Book? Could be. It's also uh, an interesting choice for aerial mobility because it can be reversed. Okay, spamming arc fire like his nest. That's so much uh, damage to rack up. It's... See, that uses up arc fire meter if you pay attention. Yeah, just stuck. There's the... The button... That was forward air. The button pressing from Jewel definitely applying a lot of... Ooh, looking for a down air, but the forward air is going to take it off the edge. Maybe some questionable DI. Ooh, that side be the wrong way. Probably a B reverse neutral be gone wrong. There are a lot of buttons being pressed. This man wants that 0-2 action. There's the Nosferatu grab. Shout out to the one person in chat who gets that joke. Anyways. What is that? Ooh. Okay, there's a taunt. Followed by a teal, uh, the thing. Thanks, the one. Yeah. Oh, he's just waiting. <laughs> <laughs> he waited for it too, but just slightly missed the timing. He's taunting back. They're having fun. All right. <laughs> 30, less than 39% yeah. on Jewel right now. Unless he pulls some kind of miracle right now, it's over. There's the F smash, but still not enough. Yeah, throwing out projectiles there just to kind of stop uh, Phantom uh, yeah. taking out one of his biggest pressure options. He's going deep. Okay. Get him, get him. We might be see we might be on the verge of a comeback. Ooh, the juggle from Zelda. The taunt in the, the 54 for six percent. That's very nice. Yeah. I'm um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I did hear that that move had invisibility. Which does? Um, Nero. Nero has invincibility, yes. Yeah. Because you and saw a, a little huge bit of it disjoint. There. Yeah, you saw a little bit of it there. Like larger than it appears to be. Oh, Lilac tilt. Oh, there's the Din's fire bringing okay. back, and we got a game on our hands. He can make this work. Literally, a forward air brings him to 21%. There's a lot of arc fire going on, though. One interesting thing here is that this okay. slant actually back onto the stage. helps Jewel a little bit because he can be further away from the ledge and still hit the ledge with arc fire. It's a different positioning, but it might be a more advantageous one overall. Yeah, it's a lot. E it's a lot harder to punish someone further away. Going for the going lilac jank. Yep, the classic. I mean, it is his stage pick. Oh, using the hit stop of interacting with the Phantom to get a punish on Jewel. But will he that punish be, be enough? He knew he would be stuck in the hit lag. There's the teleport in there. Okay. Sour hit. Oh, okay, the, the Nosferatu. Okay, the Nosferatu catching him. And even healing him up a little bit. Oh, okay. oh that's not gonna... All right, that's the book. I was hoping for a nothing personnel kid, but not Teleports quite. behind him. Exactly. All right, so that was very impressive zoning play there. People say people say projectile characters aren't interesting to watch. Oh, projectile characters are tremendously interesting to watch.